Hello, uh, this is STM32F103C8T6 blue pill. Uh, that is what we call. So this is a, a case where uh, the regulator, uh, which converts to 3.3 volt, is uh, a fried. Well, that's what it is looking like because it is connected to USB and there is no response. Nothing is happening here. And uh, this is my aim is to show that. Uh, the way if we can bypass the 5 volt uh, regulator uh, i mean 3.3 volt uh, which converts to and uh, make sure that uh, it work so for, to prove that what i'm going to show is uh, that regulator is fried what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect this through my ftdi connection okay and uh, for that I'll use my board here which I created for this kind of this is my I'm going to change this to let me change this to first 5 volt 5 volt and see if there is a response so 5 volt there is no response I'm going to connect this to my TX pin, RX pin here and there is no response. What I am going to do is I am going to shift this to 3 volt, 3.3 volt and I hope sure it is not burned otherwise it will get burned. So this is what uh, now it is, uh, this is what is happening here and uh, what I did is I programmed PA15 pin here for uh, blinking and see if it is blinking so it is blinking now so this is the workable board so if the 5.5 volt is 5 volt is gone then you uh, supply power the problem is uh, looks like usb is giving pipe power through the 5 volt regulator so if i change this to my direct connection to uh, upload the bootloader and try to upload the code directly uh, it will not work so and through power 5 point volt also will not work so what is the catch here uh, what are the things we can uh, try uh, to do so this is what the blinking lead is see what is uh, my suggestion is to uh, this is a 3.3 uh, volt regulator which convert into 5 into any voltage into up to 15 to into 3.3 uh, other voltage also there but uh, we are going to use only 3.3 voltage regulator so what i'm going to do is output of the, uh, uh, i'll take the uh, input from uh, uh, this one this pin directly or usb and then going to uh, convert that and connect this to 3.43 volt and because i have already tried so i'm sure that it will work so let's see uh, if we can make it workable uh, model. So just now I soldered this 3.3 uh, voltage regulator. So what I did is I took the the input from the uh, the 5 volt is coming. It may come from uh, 5 volt here the pin uh, where the USB is supplying power through that because when I checked the 5 volt was coming there and then at after conversion and connecting this to 3.3 volt so this is done so let's uh, uh, do one thing uh, first uh, we'll connect this to the board so this is connected now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to supply power to this through this ftdi so let's connect this we'll connect 5 volt uh, sorry this is 5 volt supply here connecting here and this is the pin and changing this 3.3 to 5 volt so as you see here the 5 volt is coming but where is the catch the program is not running uh, looks like uh, there is some issue with uh, uh, something going on here 
where some pin may be uh, affected or some something might have happened which I'm not sure why but uh, what I found is a very strange thing here so when I touch pin 11 the program starts running actually so let's let me connect the the LED here pin 15 is my blinking pin so so this is what is happening actually so let's let me disconnect it disconnect the power and reconnect back see the lead is not blinking so uh, this is uh, this is what the problem is coming even after supplying power everything looks fine but the program is not running so if i uh, touch the pin again uh, the program will start running uh, let me touch with a wire see let me touch for a while see it starts running and there is no uh, programming here so believe you have to believe me what i am saying uh, so this is what happening so finally what i uh, what i uh, tried actually is so when i connect this led pin through a register which i'm not going to sort it actually obviously to ground pin it works fine actually so pull it down with 10k so even if i uh, disconnect for a while and reconnect back the program always runs so this is what i found actually and nothing is getting heated nothing is affected power is still coming and uh, and it works actually so so let me take out this oh, sorry uh, this is not the thing i should be taking out take out the power supply uh, this rx pin tx pin all those things i don't know why i'm taking out this take out this connect to usb directly so this works so this is what is happening so even if the usb thing works even if the 10 key is not there but if 10 key is there everything works fine now if i supply power through my ac to dc uh, converter uh, this thing uh, works actually there is no issue with uh, this thing works only if uh, this is my ac to dc uh, converter so when i supply power that let me take out this and uh, connect this connect this to my AC to DC it works okay so this works only if a 10 k is registered a PA11 is connected through ground to ground through a, a register i mean register is not required I either have to touch it once or if i ground it directly so i'm not going to drive directly direct, directly ground it because pa12 and p11 are uh, actually usb plus and usb minus kind of uh, things so and what i did is i tested everything program is getting uploaded everything everything is working fine actually so uh, that is the uh, thing is happening here so just to so that actually what are the fix uh, that so this works only as long as it is connected uh, so so now if i put it here nothing no response because the 5 volt regulator is fried so this will work only if if i let's ground it here i mean ground pin and so this is working so this is the way it works so we can have a fix for this uh, stm board uh, 32 board uh, uh, through indirect way uh, bypassing the original 5 volt regulator 
and do it if someone can solder it it is okay well and good uh, they can go ahead and do it but it's so small that it may fail again uh, because of something happens so this is what it is so thank you very much for uh, watching this video if you like it give a thumbs up bye bye